Yeah. Weezy, 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 Weezy. What's going on guys, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to put in an aftermarket steering wheel into your car. For this um, modification you're going to need, mine's a 7 8 size socket, so I'm going to need a 7 8 mil. Possibly a mallet if your steering wheel's been a bit, how's it going, and a breaker bar. Um, for some of you, there will be screws behind the steering wheel here, um, and most of the time you're going to have to take off the surround for your steering column to get to them, but in mine it just um, pops off, like that, um, and I'm going to be replacing it with a genuine, or I think it's genuine, Momo steering wheel. Um, and a mate gave this to me, and this is the boss kit out of his old VP. He gave me a bunch of parts for this. Also, um, I put some new wheels on it that I got off a mate for doing his brakes on his, what was a station wagon, now a ute. And I also chopped the stock springs, three coils. I'm thinking about going another one just to get a little bit lower, but... For the moment, I'm happy with it, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, they're 16-inch VT wheels, I'm pretty sure. But he gave me a bunch of parts. He gave me a brake booster, um, a bunch of front suspension shit. Here's, his, here's the steering column that came on. Um, and then there's front brakes with really good condition um, pads. They need to clean up, but... They were unevenly worn on here. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff down in my shed, which I'm not going to worry about. But first of all, you're going to want to start by undoing your bolt on the steering column. I've already undone mine. I've already cracked it. So... And then once it's off a bit, don't take it off all the way so it doesn't smack you in the face, but... Here we go, there we go, and now it's came loose. So whereas if I had that bolt off it, and if you're sitting directly in the chair, like in front of it, it can come back at you. Just double check, check this off before I take that bolt off. All right, so it's off. Keep your nut, don't throw that away, so you might not have another one. And before you do this, it's um, good to make sure that your wheels are straight, not turn, nothing like that. Mine was slightly off, but I'm not overly worried about that. So, you're going to grab your boss kit. Boss kit here. Hopefully I can sit it right, doing this one handled with the camera. There we go. Alright, so that's in. Um, I'm not going to, I do have a horn for it. But I'm not going to put that in just yet because it is a bit, uh, it does like to get stuck down like that. So grab your bolt again, screw your bolt on if you can. <laughs> Run way around. I will eventually put the horn in but I'm not going to worry about it just yet because I don't need it yet. Um, hopefully this can reach in here. It should be able to because it did the other day. There we go. And then get your breaker bar. Breaker bar. Carefully don't put your stuff through the windscreen. Oh. Right, there we go. Just turn it. Sweet. So, and that does have a bit of Loctite on it, so it shouldn't go anywhere. Um, now you're going to grab your steering wheel. I'm not going to video putting it on, but you're going to want to get it so that it's how your other one came off. Mine wasn't 
completely straight. Mine was sort of like that on a bit of an angle. It wasn't turned that way either, so I might actually pull it back off and turn the hub or the bosque, whatever you want to call it, back this way a little bit so it's more straight. But you can do it um, however you want. Just make sure your wheels are in line first before you start and because that's the main thing. Um, you don't want your wheels out of line because then your steering wheel is going to be out of line like the VT. I want to mention before you tighten everything down and get it all done up, I've put my hub on but the nut's done, not done up tight. Not done up tight. Um, what you can do is get your two wires here, even though they have plastic shielding ar around them. See if I can hold this with one arm or something. Um, is you want to touch the metal together under the two um, plastic coverings, and just make sure your horn works if it's if you want your horn to work. So. Yep, so my horn works alright. Now what you can do is um, tighten it down for the final time. And then the last thing you're going to want to do before you um, take for a drive or whatever is um, tighten down all your uh, Allen bolts holding it to the holding the wheel to the actual hub. Uh, mine are three mil Allen bolts as well. Um, so, and don't go like one, two, three, four, five, six. Sort of do it in a pattern. Go like the one across from each other, if you know what I mean. Um, where was I? This one is this one. And start back at the start. Go to the bottom. Up to this side. And these are old bolts, they do have rust on them, um, so I'm going to eventually need to buy new bolts, but it was handy that I got the um, hub with the actual wheel itself as well, because um, these hubs aren't overly cheap either. So, I'm going to finish tightening these off, I'll tuck my wires away and then show you again. tightened up all my um, Allen bolts here. And there, I did already know this, but um, when you install an aftermarket steering wheel, it is a lot uh, smaller in diameter than your stock one. Um, but because it's less wide down here and stuff now, I could actually see my RPM gauge clearly. Um, and yeah, it is a bit worn out, but it'll do for the moment. I, I do want to put a wood grain one in here. Um, like with the holes in the, what's it called, I forgot what the names of these bits are, but, um, with the holes that go up and shit, I really like them, um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.